So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck? Come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code. Woof. It's Windows Pro time. Right, oh, tell you there, champs. How you guys doing out there? Now, someone asked me, are you going to do a content creation review for this Zephyrus? And yeah, this is, wouldn't be my first choice for content creation. But you know, I like to give people what they want. People want to know how good it is for content creation. And when it comes to gaming, undisputed king of the thin and lights. I think it is the best, the fastest ones of the thin and premium 15 inch laptops. But does that translate for content creation? And yeah, it's not translating. If you don't know, this has an i7 9750H, 16 gigabytes of RAM and a full RTX 2070. So this isn't Max-Q. I'm going to be comparing the scores to the Razer Blade with the RTX 2080 Max-Q. Now they're very similar in performance, an RTX 2070 full and an RTX 2080 Max-Q. And when it comes to gaming, the Zephyrus is faster than the Razer. That's just how it is. But when it comes to content creation, it's a completely different story. Now, I did install the studio drivers on the Zephyrus. I don't know why it's not a scoring as much. I'm not sure. It's obviously just tuned for gaming and the performance isn't bad by any stretch of the imagination, but it's quite a bit shorter to raise the arrow and, and even sometimes the XPS 15. So when it comes to the display, 240 hertz display with G-Sync, it's not the best for content creation, but it will get the job done. It's got a wide enough color gamut around 100 percent srgb perfectly fine you'll get your work done on it but you know there are other thin and premium laptops you can get the oled which is really good for content creation when it comes to dpc latency it did show up red on the monitors every now and then but i had no problems recording and i had no problems using audio interface with a buffer size of 32 so i don't think there's going to be any problems with audio although it did go in the red for the dpc latency test so let's get into the benchmarks so what we have up here is After Effects. So on the left is the Razer Blade with the RTX 2070 Max-Q and on the right we have the Zephyrus with the RTX 2070 full version. You can see there's a big difference in the score there. I ran this a couple of times. I don't know what it is. I ran it in the performance mode, the Zephyrus. So why the Razer is scoring so much higher? If anyone has any ideas of why this would be, I mean the Zephyrus outperforms the Razer in gaming. So you would think that would translate for content creation, but obviously not in this case. And I was using the studio driver as I did mention. This is stock Cinebench, so you're getting a score of just over 3000. Then if we go to the overclocked, it's slightly faster. We're talking within margin of error there. So, you know, it gets good performance with the CPU in its turbo mode there. Go to Photoshop on the left, of course, is the Razer. And on the right is the um, Zephyrus. And we'll punch in on those scores here. So the right is the Zephyrus, left is the Razer. And again, it's fallen a bit short there. I don't know why, GPU. Let's go to the GPU score at the bottom. You know, 59.8, so 60 versus 74. There's a big difference there. And I was using the studio drivers with the um, Zephyrus, so I don't know. I'm lost for words. I really want you guys to tell me why you think there is a difference when you consider that the Zephyrus is the king for gaming, but it's not translating for the content creation. And we're both using studio drivers on both these laptops. I know the other one, you know, the Razer has an RTX 2080 Max-Q, but I've reviewed 2070 Max-Qs that are higher score than this um, Zephyrus, which is on the right. So yeah, again, I don't know what to say there. All right, so let's punch in on the um, Premiere Pro scores. And you can test all this yourself. You can go download the Puget System benchmarks. I did test it twice, so I restarted too. So I'm lost for words here. Again, you can see the Razer on the left scoring much higher than the Zephyrus on the right. Export scores are higher. Now the Razer does have a minus 100 millivolt out of the box. I couldn't get minus 100 on the Zephyrus. I could only do around 60, minus 60 for stability. And so, you know, there is a bit of a difference in the undervolt, but, you know, you saw the Cinebench scores, they were perfectly fine. Maybe it just favours the GPU more, I don't know what's going on. But you can see here the Puget System Premier Pro benchmark, which is the best benchmark because this test playback of all different Kodaks, playback at all different resolutions, multicam clips, you know, all these nested clips. 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, export times, GPU effects, CPU effects, it tests everything. So it's the most comprehensive test when it comes to Premiere Pro. That being said, I had no issues with this Zephyrus editing, anything like that. It just performed like a champ. 
but in these benchmarks it's just not showing up you know it is the gaming king but it's not translating into content creation so i don't think this is the best thin and light premium for content creation i'll just look at my benchmark now my rendering benchmark and again you know the xps 15 was faster than this for rendering so i don't know if it just doesn't like the studio drivers i've actually sent it back so i can't test the normal game ready drivers maybe there's a difference there maybe it just doesn't like studio drivers i have no idea don't get me wrong this will perform for content creation no problems it is the gaming king of the thin premium lights as i said but there are better ones in terms of you know content creation your razors your arrows even like i love the xps 15 it's not a gaming laptop but I, I do like that for content creation yeah it is what it is i thought i'll quickly put this up because people want to know how it was with content creation there are better ones that is what it is catch you in the next one tally ho